everyone. Welcome to another crafting and DIY with Nora. Mm -hmm. Um, real quick, let me give you a background on this project I did. It wasn't supposed to end up like this. I had prepped for the video about four days before, and the original circle I wanted to use was this, which is this form. Boom. Boom from Dollar Tree. I painted it gold, Rustoleum metallic. I bought this from Home Depot. All spray paint is bought from Home Depot. So I ended up spray painting this. But what happened was the teddy bear was too big to fit right here. It felt like it, everything looked decluttered. And that was not the look I was going for. And I had went back to Dollar Tree to see if I could find like the little ones. But unfortunately, I didn't. Um, there wasn't any. Not that I didn't go. There wasn't any. So I had to improvise. Couldn't use this. And the advantage of using this is when you glue the teddy bear to the side, you won't see it back here. You know what I mean? But I'll use this for another project. And it would have made it easier for me to uh, uh, um, glue it to a foam. Let me see what. These are from Dollar Tree also. It comes two in it. It would have been easier for me to glue it right here. Because it's thick, so the hole is balanced. This was the original plan, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. Teddy bear was too big for here. If I put the uh, the cloud and then the flower, it overpowers the ring, and I didn't want that. So, this goes back. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Just in case you want to use it. But the teddy bear has to be a small teddy bear to put here. It cannot be the one I bought from Dollar Tree. It's a little too big for it. Okay? I hope I made myself clear. So what I did was I improvised. This this that same form boom I bought from Dollar Tree. I did the glitter, which is you can use any glitter. On um, this I bought, I believe, in Target. Any glitter would do. You want a silver, you want to go whatever the color you may use. Remember, these are stuff I have home. Now you won't believe where did I get this from this ring this was the top of a lampshade that I took apart that's why I never throw anything out this is what it is the top of a lampshade a lamp shade I took apart and I put this away you see So yes, this is the ring of an old lamp shape I took apart. That's why I say don't throw anything away. So what I did was, let me move this up, which it turned out, I don't know if I could say it turned out to be any easier. Because now I had to glue the teddy bear right here. So before I put the ring on the foam, foam let me add because I'm afraid you know what no let me do the I don't know what I want to do glue it on first I put the let me put the teddy bear on first let me glue the teddy bear on but let me show you real quick how I did this is not glued on yet let me move this let me show you what I did I cut the, the inner piece in here so it will fit inside, not on top, but inside of the foam. I'll be right back. 
let me try to find a way to glue my dollar tree. Look up thinking cute. I did the eyes. I did these eyes again. I put these eyes on because I didn't like the eyes it had. And I just dressed her up and I did some bunny um some bear ears. Cause these are so how can I say Dollar Tree? You know, they look all I'll show you a before and an after. Let me see where is that before. This is the after. Let me show you what it looks like. This is it. And you can tell this is Dollar Tree. So what I did was I just cut it up, cut the hair up a little, gave her a little haircut, a style. Cut some of the hair out in the front and the sides. You see, this one was okay when it came to the ears. But this one, you could hardly see the ears. No, so look at the difference. And then just because it's Dollar Tree doesn't mean anything. This is just the base that you have. I tell you, I tell, I always say it in my video. This is just the base of your teddy bear, right? That's it. You don't have to say you have to put it up like this on your project. No, you clean it up. It's the teddy bear per se that you need. Now, clean it up. Add on. You see the eyes? The eyes that are sewn in. And these are the eyes I put in. I put the pack from Dollar Tree. I have some here. I don't know where I put them at. I have a huge bag of them. But I was not going to waste no time. You see? You see the difference between the eyes? So, I'll be right back, people. Let me see how I'm going to glue my teddy bear to here. Recap real quick. I ended up um, putting the ring first. And make sure you post it to the side when you're gluing it and holding it down. Make sure it's not too front or too back. Okay. So now what I did was I took these styrofoam. I cut them in half. Let me tell you something. I'm going to have a list, a, a, a link of things, a, a, a must-have. You know what's a must-have? This. Like I said, a must-have. So I took these little styrofoam balls. Again, from Dollar Tree. And use my little sword. This is a must-have. I'm going to have a link to must-have stuff from Dollar Tree. And I just sorted it up. So what I'm going to do next. Let me make sure this is nice drying up. I'm going to put these two half balls right here. Because here is where I'm going to put my so-called cotton ball, my cotton balls for the so-called clouds. So let's do that now. Be generous, because you know the the glue the glue eats up the foam. The hot the heat eat up the eat up the foam. Foam. Why can I say that word? You see, there's glue coming out, but that's okay because the cotton is going to cover that. So you see. 
So I'm gonna let this dry up completely. And then I will insert my teddy bear somewhere around here. Okay, so I glued it. After you finish, you just fix her up. See, just the glue. So what I'm gonna do back here is put a nice big bow in the back of the tutu right here. So the flowers I got, let me put this up here. A Dollar Tree flowers. I'm just gonna find a way to just fix them up a little bit. Bring them in together. Because they're all over the place. So you want to fix them up a little better before you put them on. Or even sometimes, let me show you. Oh, too much glue. Put a dash of glue and just hold them together. Until it... You see? I feel like they're too, a little too open for me. Just one or two of them up the bunch. That's it. See, it gives it a little supposed to be in this open. So what I'm going to do is how I glued them. I'm going to glue one side here and one side to the back. So I'll be right back. You know, sometimes you think a project it's going to be easy. Oh, I got this. It's going to be one, two, three. It went totally left. I was supposed to do it here from this um, loop, but the teddy wheel was too big to put it here and then at the flowers on this side. It would have been um, too messy in the clouds here. It wouldn't have done it. Right, but by the way, you can still use it. Get this spray painted or glitter it. I would prefer to make a like a little dent here, or oh, no, because it's you can still in, in here. You go. It's up to you, or. You can use um, the Dollar Tree um, square mirrors like this. You could use these in the square. You can even use this one right here. You see? But it didn't go right. It, and I was not going to go to Dollar Tree and find me a, a smaller teddy bear when I already did this cuteness already. I use Rust-Oleum metallic. I only use Rust-Oleum and I get them in Home Depot. So let me tell you about the flowers. Oh, I put them up. Actually, it took me about an hour and a half just to make this arrangement. I put them with glue, with hot glue. I was not feeling it. It was not looking right to me. So I took it apart. I use zip tie that I get from Dollar Tree and that worked. Now check out this cuteness. 
with it, flower was like off Dollar Tree, except this one and this one. Everything else is Dollar Tree. Now, the loop I use because I was not going to buy anything else. I use what I have here. Simple. Um, this was the top of a lamp, a lamp shade that I took apart. I never throw anything. That's why I tell everybody, do not throw. Everything has a purpose. Believe me, you'll use it later on. And this was it. And I spray painted it with the rust Metallic. Okay, so you see the flowers? So what I'm going to do, the reason why I added these two foams here is because I want to make like a cloud. You get what I'm coming? Just like that. And this is not no brainstorming. But because I like taking my time and it'll take too long for the video after I finish, it'll be about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I have to edit that part. And I'm trying to do as less as editing and as I can. And um putting cotton balls on two foam balls is not rocket sciences. Simple. Just put it on. The same thing with my flowers. I feel like I'm rushing when I'm um, videotaping myself doing something, especially if it's going to take this long. Um, i rather turn it off do what I got to do and then come back on. Again, I use sip time to put them on because the the circle, the rim is so thin. That's the only way I got them to stay. Now, if you do them here, you can glue it. Because this is thick. And you won't see the back of it. So, what I had to do is just cover some of the back also you see but like I said I'd rather turn it off and take my sweet time in doing it how you arrange your flowers is up to you but because I am so oh how can I say OCD it has to look correct for me how you put it is up to you. And my teddy bear, I just glued it at the back with the hot glue gun. Simple as that. So what I'm going to do in the back, I'm going to add a big bow to it right here. One of the other things I did was two Dollar Tree candle holders. Glued them. Again, rust metallic spray paint. I just my... put it here. Let me tell you about me and centerpieces. I think I spoke about having my granddaughter's quinceañero, which is the sweet 15. Um, but Hispanics celebrate quinceañero. I like tall centerpieces. Tall centerpieces make a statement. And when you're in a hall or decorating, you want tall pieces. Some tall, some short, you know, depending. I like it tall. Um, I feel like this like is a little too tall. But I'm gonna see how it looks when I put the clouds on it. So I'll be back. Let me add my clouds onto my little styrofoam balls. Okay, I added the cotton. You see? You can make it as fluffy, as little. However you want it. And another thing, when you're handling these cotton, make sure your hands are clean. Because you don't want a display with dirty cotton. You see? So I feel like it's missing something here. Just not like this. 
so let me see what I come up with and no specific way I'm putting this I just put it on I think I spend enough time on this little pretty baby here you see let me see what I can do oh my god I finally finished Today is Tuesday, what is it, the 28th, the 29th. This is where normally my videos go up. But this piece right here, ooh wee. Something I thought was so simple. But let me show you. And I'm going to show you how I do my moons. I have a mess here. I am tired. This video will go up tomorrow, Wednesday the 30th. I think that is what it is tomorrow, the 30th. But let me have me some water. Wait one second. And if you ever have water, this is the best water to drink. I, I constantly drink water because I'm going to the gym and working out. So I drink a lot of water. The best. This piece even got me thirsty. Oh, car stock. I have such a mess here, but when I finish, I'll do this tomorrow. I decided to cut a half a moon and put it right there in the center. I, I haven't glued it on yet because I don't know if I, I don't, I don't know if I want to do it a little bigger. You can't see it right here. No, I'm gonna see. Should I keep it that small or just do it a tad bit bigger? But for now, for tonight, it's gonna stay like that. But look how stinking cute this out. This came out again. I don't know if I, I'm just gonna take the the. The candle holders apart because I feel like it's too tall. Or I had painted these to put underneath here, but I don't like it. Most likely, I'll take one of these candlesticks, hold it apart, and put it right up there and make a nice bow or something. No, too much. But let me show you real quick how do I make. You take anything round. Something fell. Oh. Anything with a round, you put it here, you trace it. Okay, you trace it, then when you finish tracing it, then you bring it down again and you trace it again, then you angle them together. I don't know if that makes sense. You see, I cut this one out, then I took it and I brought it down and made another. Okay, so I took it, I traced it, I brought it a little down, I traced it again, and that's how I made my moon. Figure it out. I'm tired. <sighs> We're so stinking cute, but the flowers really came out nice. I like the way I arranged them. And this is for a first birthday party. A baby shower, a little girl's room. I could do it in blue also. These are two, these will be just right for um, gender reveal, one on each side. So I am signing off. Hope when you see this picture, when you see this piece the next time it will be in a picture, probably the moon will be just a slight bigger. And the candlestick hold this uh, this is too long for it so i'm just gonna bring take one out guys again thank you for you know watching this video crafting and diy with nora i like doing these things uh make sure to subscribe like share comment and follow also check me out on my facebook page hannah's and mia's little secrets and on instagram little secrets one two three i also have a blog site please check it out is on my page the link is on my page 
again thank you and i really appreciate those that are constantly looking at my video and i like to thank my girlfriend lola she is always looking at my videos always thank you lola until the next crafting and diy with nora thank you everyone